Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. I am Mega Freak 400, and uh, this is Dry Dry Desert still, and we have the Pulse Stone now. Uh, with the Pulse Stone, this will enable us to locate that Dry Dry Ruins. Now I know where it is in a general location, but every time the Pulse Stone flashes more, uh, that means you're getting closer. The main reason you want the Pulse Stone, though, is more out of because you need it to actually access the ruins. And here, uh, Merle's spell is allowing me to get extra coins. Which is awesome, because we all love coins. Who doesn't love coins? They're so shiny and gold golden. And if you get 100 of them, you get free life. Though not in this game. Here, uh, a dried fruit. Now, randomly, Pokies will sometimes drop dried fruit. It uh, heals 15 HP. So, besides the whack up up at this point, I unless you cook something, it's the uh, best healing item. Because Super Shrooms only have healed to te uh, 10. Um, again, whack up are more, but... Uh, there's limited number of them, but yeah, you definitely you want dried fruit because dried fruit is good. Which is odd because the dried shroom only gives you one HP, yet the dried fruit gives you. Though dried fruit's pretty good, like you know, like dried uh, apples and dried bananas. Not so much dried bananas, but dried um. Just in general, I like I like dried fruit. It's pretty good. So here I got level up and HP, I think. There we go, HP. So we you saw on the screen previous there was a rock. That's where the pulse stone will go, and yeah, it's at the top of the screen, or top of the desert, so... Uh, that's the general location you want to go to find it. Though with the pulse stone, you'll eventually find it anyway. And look, suddenly it's nighttime. And cool smoke effects. Oh look, the ruins, they're coming out. Now, someone mentioned... Uh, I forgot the name, sorry, but someone mentioned that, um... Uh, that... Bowser could have used the Star Rod just to put his minions in the uh, ruins. I didn't even, I never even thought about that. Like, I didn't even consider that even a, uh, not even a possibility, but I didn't even think about that, because I've always thought, like, well, how did they get in there if it was under sand? And, and I was like, oh, wait a minute, he has a Star Rod. He can do whatever, whatever he wants. Which, by that logic, couldn't he technically just kill Mario right now? But whatever, he's Bowser. He's just not that smart. Anyway, here is the ruins. Um, so, yeah, let's go in and find the next star spirit in order to save the world and Peach. Because, you know, that's what Mario does. Blehergo. I am the huge, scary Tutan Koopa, remorseless king of the desert. Who dares set foot in this? My place of the sand, palace of the sand. Speak. You got from this place. Okay, so this guy's giving us scary warnings, telling us don't come in here. His name is Tutan Koopa. He sounds scary. He isn't, but, um, anyway, yeah. So we're going to get barraged by uh, those things. Uh, he'll be talking to us throughout the entire level. Um, but yeah, here we have, I think they're dry pokey or mummy pokies, actually. Um, they're not too, they're, they're just, I think they're, they're maybe a little stronger than regular pokies, but I'm not even, um, the only difference might be the fact that they can poison you, I think, where regular pokies can't. Uh, don't quote me on that. I, uh, off the top of my head, I can't tell whether or not they uh, are any different. Um, but anyway, uh, sp uh, speaking of stuff, here is, um, or uh, speaking of stuff, there wasn't really anything I was speaking of, uh, the Spike Shield badge, this is a really good badge that you definitely want to equip, not all the time, but it's good to have, because what it does is it allows you to jump on, or Mario to jump on spiked enemies, enemies with, like, spikes in their heads, so, uh, if you're going to an area with no spiked enemies, you don't need to equip it, but if you are, definitely have it equipped, because it's definitely useful, um, especially if those spiked enemies are in the air. Get the ruins key, so now we need to go back up there where the keyhole was. Um, so uh, let's see. Um, first, I want to ask uh, if you haven't noticed already, I've been uh, putting on every sound effect badge I have. Uh, and I've recorded up to about chapter or mid chapter three at this point, just so you guys know where I am um, uh, in terms of like what what I've. Uh, when, when things are going to be in effect, like for example, uh, most people said they wanted uh, to see the peekaboo badge be used on, uh, basically there was various answers, my thing is I'm definitely going to use it on every boss, That's just, I'm just going to use it on every boss, because most people said that, um, I'll use it on enemies, unless like there's other badges I want to use, like say, um, say, uh, there's other badges I want to equip, and I don't have enough badge points to uh, have put the peekaboo badge on. I won't use those for enemies. But um, if if I don't have anything I need to, then I'll put it on, on enemies. I definitely will have it on like bosses though. Um, 
definitely past chapter three though, because like I'm a somewhat midway. Um, and uh, the recipes. That was more of just me. I, like I didn't actually think I would get that many responses. I mean, I didn't get a hundred, but I didn't think I would get that many responses on the recipe thing because it was more just. Uh, I'm not really gonna probably do this, but after all the responses, I think what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna show all the recipes. That that I, I that was like a. I, I'm not gonna do that no matter what. I mean, that would be way too boring. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show like a few of them uh, that like I advise you use like our good recipes to use and put it in like I said I was gonna do a letter compilation video. There should be enough room in there to stick it in there. Um. So yeah. So it's not like it'll still be instead of having a video of letter compilations, a video of recipes. It's gonna be both in one to kind of limit the boringness. Letters isn't that boring though, because there's some interesting conversations in those. Um. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Here's the star piece. Um. And what else? Um. But anyway, uh, my question was, uh, I, I don't know if I ever finished that, but uh, so I'm putting on all the sound effect badges. Do you want me to continue putting on sound effect badges? Like I have them all on, or do you want me to take them off, or just have one on, or? Because right now I have, I like having them on, but if they're annoying to hear different sound effects, I could take them all off. So just let me know what your opinion is, or if it's indifferent, or uh, whatnot. Oh, and yeah, um, the dojo is gonna be done uh, every. I'm gonna do one uh, per fight every chapter. So uh, there was no point in doing this because I don't have uh, the ability to break those metal blocks yet. But yeah, the dojo I'll do every uh, chapter. There will be a f after every chapter there will be one fight, starting with after chapter two. Um, so here we have to hit that block and fight these mummy pokies. Crap. Actually, these guys aren't that hard. I think I showed these two fights though because one of them has a new enemy, which is a, a swooper. I talk about we have Buzzy Beals in here too. Um, and they can actually appear on the wall uh, or ceiling, but only in a certain area, which will be, I think, maybe next episode. Maybe this episode. Um, anyway, the swoopers, um, they uh, are only on the they're on the ceiling, so the only people who can reach them right now are Paracarry or the Quake Hammer. That's why I like the Quake Hammer, because the Quake Hammer can attack any enemy wherever it is on the, uh, Well, not if it's in midair, but if it's on the ceiling or if it's on the floor, it can attack the enemies. Uh, that's why the quick hammer is useful to, for um, this, uh, I guess you could say, dungeon of sorts. Because it allows you to um, uh, get the swoopers and later buzzy beetles off the ceiling without having to use paracarry. Not that paracarry, there's nothing wrong with paracarry. Um, but it's nice to uh, just use the, the quick hammer, can also take care of the enemies on the ground. I mean, I just, I, I love the quick hammer. I definitely recommend you use it. <sighs> so, um,. Let's see. Um, Mega Man 10. Uh, I've been playing that. At the point I'm recording this, I've beaten all but one Robot Master because his level is a pain. Um, you could probably you could try and guess which one is. And yeah, you showed this one because I like I used the Quick Hammer and killed them all in one hit. But um, actually, just it's Strike Man's level is really driving me crazy. Like it shouldn't even be that hard, but it's really annoying. But yeah, I definitely recommend you buy Mega Man 10. It's a really good game. Some people might say it's not as good as Mega Man 9. I don't know. I kind of like it a little bit better, but they're both really good. Uh, and I'm only hoping that Sonic 4 is as good as Mega Man 9 and 10, because if it is, then I will have faith that they can make Sonic games on the console. Like, the handheld Sonic games are still pretty decent, but... Lately, the console Sonic games have been, and actually, it was only, in my opinion, it was only after Shadow, or Shadow, starting with Shadow of the Hedgehog, I don't think Heroes was honestly that bad. I mean, <laughs> this guy doesn't want us going in there to get the item, that the treasure, according to the sign. But um, I don't think it was that bad. I mean, people said, "Oh, it was awful. It was it was horrible. It was different." But I don't think it was that bad of a game. You know, it, it definitely wasn't as good as some of its pre his, uh, Sonic's previous games, but. I think it started getting worse. It was worse starting with Shadow Hedgehog, and then, like, they keep saying, like, with, um... I may have, I may have already ranted about this, but I'll read about it again. Uh, they started saying about, um... Secret Rings is going to fix Sonic, and it's like, no, that actually made it worse. So Secret Rings was just crap. I mean, that game made me hate Sonic more. Like, I really don't like Secret Rings at all. 
and unleash the goal. We're going to finally make it 2D. Oh, but we're going to add in this stupid brawling segment that no one wanted, but we're adding in because we're Sega, and we can do it. I don't know. Um, right here, this is probably the most difficult badge to find, and yet it's also the badge you probably uh, don't want to have anyway, because the use is really... Well, there's only there actually is a use, a good use for it, but um, that there's only like one area, I think, that it actually has a pretty decent use for. But it's a slow-go badge. This badge makes it so Mario can't run, so if you put it on, uh, you will only be able to move slow. And here we have the Super Hammer. Uh, the Super Hammer allows us to destroy stone blocks and also increases our hammer power. So we can now go back to that one area. And real quick, here is um, the artifact uh, we will be getting. Uh, you want to get this. I think, I don't know if you have to get this. I'll talk about this next episode because I'm out of time. So this has been Mega400 reminding you to eat bacon again. <laughs>